First rule of wasting a whole morning to make stuff you could buy a lot cheaper for club is we don't talk about wasting a whole morning to make stuff you could buy a lot cheaper for club. Not strictly necessary, but I always like to do this. I've glued up the part. I'm gonna take a scratch pass, just barely mark the surface to make sure the machine is set up for the correct thread pitch. I may not have set it, but this is an M30 by 1.5. Here's my 1.5 millimeter gauge. That looks like a match. Maybe you can see it better this way. I don't usually use oil for carbide, but this is turning pretty slow. It won't hurt anything, let's put it that way. I'm cutting metric threads on an imperial lathe. Well, on this lathe at any rate, I can't disengage the half nuts. So I have to run the lathe in reverse to get to the start. Every couple of passes I do a spring cut, meaning I do the same exact cut without advancing the tool. Cutting steel, the loads are usually pretty high, so there's some tool or work deflection. Spring pass just helps clean that up. Well, the threads are done. Those look passable. It's probably time I rotate that threading insert. I like to use thread wires. It's for getting threads to the correct size. We've seen these before. I did have a couple of mini strokes while taking measurements, but I really like them. Use a little chart, find the wires for your thread, lay them in the groove, measure across them. If you want to see these in action, go back to the Chuck backplate video, I think, or sign up for my four and a half week thread wire summer camp. Limited time offer, only 50 bucks and five box tops from any this old Tony video. Before I can test fit, I'm going to have to remove quite a bit of material from the inside to make clearance for the crank threads. I don't know if you can see down in there. There's a smaller threaded hole. It's M10 by one and a half. You saw me just run a tap in there to cut those threads. And that female M10 has another M8 inside of it, which in turn is tapped M6, which is bored and tapped for an M5, which is then countersunk for an M4. I should have mentioned this when we were at the lathe, that last operation. I set up the feed rate and the coolant flow rate on that parting tool, such that when this part separated from the stock, it would fall into my milling machine vise between some scrap aluminum to protect the threads, so I can mill in some simple wrench flats. In machining, it pays to plan ahead. Okay, moment of truth. If we did our maths 
right, 24 millimeter wrench should drop right on this. All right, 24 millimeter seems to be a popular size on these bikes, so this would be out anyway. I'm gonna deburr it a bit, just hit it with a file, and we'll go try it out. All right, fine, I'll deburr this later. I am anxious to try it out too, but if I cut myself, it's on you. So if all goes well, the large threads on the puller will thread into the flywheel, and then I can come in through the back with this smaller bolt, thread that all the way in until it pushes off against that crankshaft. That should pull the flywheel off the bike. Let me get some. I feel like I'm gonna break something. Should I get the impact gun out? Oh, either it came off or we broke something. Flywheels are keyed onto tapered shafts. So the inside of that is a taper. Looks like a Morse taper too. When these things are installed and that large nut is torqued down, these tapers lock on pretty hard. For smaller engines, you can usually get away with a pry bar or two behind the flywheel and like a soft mallet on the crank. Separating a flywheel like that is the equivalent of you slapping your tooling up against the side of your machine to get the tapers to come apart. I wanted to get in here to screw with the timing of this engine just a little bit. I hope you enjoyed following along building a simple tool. Now yes, you can buy these for 10 or 15 or 20 dollars, but I wanted it right now. This puller also fits two or three other engines I have around, so I don't feel as bad wasting time to make one. That's it. Thanks for watching.